Good morning and welcome to Breakfast at Dawn. I'm Naveen Nakvi and it is Tuesday, the 27th of October, 2009. Now to get into our story, as I keep saying, there's never a dull moment in Pakistani politics. But apparently, last night, there was not, there was, and not just one, there was nothing but dull moments in the meeting between President Asif Zadari and PMLN head Nawaz Sharif. The headlines say it all. Some understanding, no breakthrough, much ado about nothing, no surprises, no specifics. As Rabia Shakur said on Twitter, Sources say that the atmosphere in the presidency was extremely grim before and after the meeting, despite the serving of very delicious food. Dr. Rasool Bakhshreis is a political analyst and a professor of political science at the Lahore University of Management Sciences. He's written extensively on the politics of Pakistan. Dr. Rais now joins me live from our Lahore studio. Good morning and welcome to Breakfast at Dawn. Good morning. So, Dr. Rice, the, the, the consensus appears to be that the only the thing that came out of uh, the menu on, on last night's meeting was the city pie that was served. I think two words uh, explain uh, much about uh, the meeting. One is food and the other is good atmosphere right. during the meeting. And uh, that tells all uh, about this meeting. I, 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 I think that this meeting was necessary from the point of view of President uh, Asif Ali Zardari after uh, the reported meeting uh, of um, Mr. Shahbaz Sharif and Chaudhary Nisar Ali with Chief of Army Staff. And there had been a lot of uh, discussions and rumors. Perhaps Pakistan was going back to the decade of 1990s and that musical chair and uh, how the political parties used army as a leverage to get uh, uh, the incumbent government out of uh, office and then uh, the midterm elections, things like that. I think this meeting was reassuring from the point of view of um, Mr. Asif Ali Zardari, but also there is a meaningful phrase one has to, to, to remember that. What really transpired in this meeting is this word a rephrase by Mr. Shahbaz Sharif that if something happens to you, that will be because of uh, your problems and something that you are not doing right, it will not be because of us. And we will not be part of um, any conspiracy or any scheme toppling your government. But if your government is toppled, then you must be held responsible because you have not made progress on charter of democracy and you have not delivered on the promises. promises and of course uh, very politely implied that uh, in fact uh, people don't have confidence in you Th something like that okay now a comment here which is uh I think that it's in the same vein as, as what you are saying. It is from I am Anas, who that is his Twitter ID, who says we do need to understand that it is the elected government's prerogative and responsibility to set the agenda, not the opposition's or the media's for that matter. So um, do you <laughs> think that, uh, that President Zardari and, and that the elected government were not um, shall we say, serious in setting an agenda for last night? It's not agenda just for the meeting. It is agenda of reconstruction, reform, and, demo and democratization. The question here is that has the government set that agenda? It had um, about one year and about eight or nine months in office, and uh, we don't see that agenda. If, if structurally speaking, the constitutional and political arrangements that we have what is the difference between these arrangements and the arrangements that we had during previous Musharraf, except that Pakistan People's Party is in the leading position, but all other political actors, MQM, ANP, Muslim League, Q, Muslim League, and all of them were around uh, in the National Assembly and in the Provincial Assemblies. What is the difference? That is a legitimate question to ask. And the people, particularly the media, and the civil society, the liars movement, the public intellectuals, everybody has struggled for genuine democracy because we all questioned fake democracy of Pervez Musharraf and his associates at that time. What is the difference? So uh, if you have another group of politicians in power and if they don't structurally reform the constitution and take away those um, const uh, constitutional amendments that have disfigured 
the 1973 constitution. It, it, it's no more a parliamentary form of government, and nor is it uh, a presidential form of government. It is uh, a perverted form of um, parliamentary government and a perverted form of a pres presidential government. And we need democratization, and democratization means accountability, transparency in the actions of the government, and responsiveness, meaning that whatever we write, point out some issue of corruption and mismanagement, in the cities and towns, anywhere in the country, is responded to. I don't see that response because of the nature of the party system, the quality of the leadership, and of course uh, this uh, feeling of arrogance among them that, well, we can get away with whatever we do. So that has to change, and the real democracy is our ideal and our dream and effort, but I think the agenda that you mentioned must have been a democratic agenda. And that does not really qualify any government to say that we are elected, so therefore we have right to do anything that we want to, and whatever we do is democratic. Does not that that does not really mean anything. All right, thank you so much for joining us here on the program on Breakfast at Dawn. Dr. Rasul Bakshre is there from our Lahore studio. All right, it's time now for us to take a very quick break. Up next, a black day is being observed the world over in support of the Kashmiri cause. Professor Ashraf Saraf is our guest on that. Don't go away. <laughs>